Man, that light is bright. Hi, guys. I got a new microphone. Oh, check that out. I'm honestly still shocked I even have this microphone. It's actually pretty nice. I'm hoping you guys like it, because I got it for you guys. Next thing up is a new camera. Because of a new series I want to do on the side. This series is going to be called Just the Tips. Now you're wondering, looking at the title of the video, thinking, Oh, BB! What the- What are you talking about? What kind of videos are you going to make? This isn't a weeaboo- This isn't a weeaboo story. I came here for wibs and trips. This is just a little mini-series I'm going to sprinkle throughout the months where it's going to be giving tips on basically the conventions. Because I've had people ask me on Tumblr, ask me through Twitter and all kinds of stuff, what should I do for cosplay? What should, what's the do's and don'ts of a convention? Since the old video I made for that is sort of outdated and very short. So I wanted to go more in-depth and because of that I'm going to be making a few couple videos about that. Basically, there's going to be a... I haven't really drawn much of an outline yet, but the basic first couple ones are going to be how to finish your cosplay on time, what to pack before a convention, the do's and don'ts of a convention itself, and as well as how to deal with post-convention depression, all that stuff that comes with coming home from a convention, everything else. I know there's also going to be one on how to, while you're do, while we're going to go into that video of how to get your costume done on time, there's also going to be a section of how to actually like either make a costume, the different, like the three different sets of when it comes to costumes, which is if whether you're buying one, making one yourself, or you're refurbishing a costume. I want to go in depth on this because I feel like it would help a lot of people because I know it would help me a ton if I would have saw these videos when I was younger and I really wanted to go into it because <sighs> some of the pictures and I'll be bringing some of those pictures up some of the pictures of some of the older cosplays that I've bought and even made <sighs> I'm wondering what the hell I was thinking but I've always been a participation kind of a youtuber i've always been a participate part i can't speak english either precipitation kind of youtuber and i always like hearing from my audience it's why i'm constantly trying to change my mic it's why i've constantly wanted to try changing how i do stories what i do in like how if i want to do little mini animatics or animations and stuff like that to keep you entertained while you're watching them Basically stuff like that, and this is something I want to do too. Like if you guys got tips, each video I'm going to be telling you guys what video is going to come next. And at the bottom, like in the comments, you can tell me little tips that you could have used at the time or things you know that could help with cosplay makeup, cosplay crea creation, little cheats and tips on how to sew, how to put things together, how, like what items you can use when it comes to props, what to and to not to bring, how to budget when it comes to going to a convention, how to deal with leaving a convention, all that kind of stuff. And while I'm talking about all the stuff that is in those videos, your little like comments and stuff are going to pop up throughout the video showing little bonus tips that I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to see and use. And I feel like this could be awesome. I think this could be great. For many young cosplayers, even like myself, who are still struggling with stuff. Like, I've been in it for a good couple years now, and I still struggle with stuff. And, like, these tips could help a lot of people. They could help people who are expert level, but still don't know how to do certain stuff. And it could be fun. That's the most part. This channel has always been about fun. I have fun doing what I do. If I ever got bored of what I was doing, I wouldn't be continuing the channel. I do it because I have fun. And I want it to be fun, and I want everybody else to have fun, which is why I want everyone to participate. If you don't want to, or if you don't want your name in it, you can feel free to send that tip over to me on Tumblr and tell me, hey, I, want to, I still want to participate, but I don't want my YouTube or Tumblr name in the, in the little tip itself. That's perfectly fine. Because I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be writing scripts and, like, essays to do this. And I could use all the help I can get. 
And these videos are going to be long. They're probably going to be two-parters. They're probably going to be ones that are four-parters. I don't even know because I haven't even written the script yet. I'm still going to be fixing with the lighting throughout it, so... You're going to be seeing a lot of... Maybe a little bit of wonky camera work. That's something that I'm going to be working on because these things are going to take time. So they're not going to be a constant boom, 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 like the, like the regular weeaboo stories are... Or at least they used to be before I decided to do them on Wednesdays only. They're probably going to be maybe a once a month kind of thing if I'm able to get them out or if they're short enough. Sometimes they might be like once every couple of months. It all really depends on how long these videos are going to get, how in-depth these videos are going to get. But I'd love if you'd be able to help. Or if you just wanted to participate or whatever. The first video that's going to come out is how to get your cosplay done on time. So it's going to be getting in-depth on where to buy your costumes, who not to buy your costumes, how to know where to buy and how to spot frauds when it comes to buying wigs, when it comes to buying certain things, because let's be honest, not everybody can and is able to make a costume. And if you're a newbie, you're more than likely going to end up buying or even commissioning, which goes into another thing, who to commission from, how to know whether a commissioner is a scammer or not. And of course, there goes with what kind of fabric should you use? Do you have any cheats on how to do certain things? Basically, and then as well as how to make a set schedule on how to do your costume. Personally, I usually make take an hour out of each of my day to solely work on costume work. And that's how I've been able to get my costumes done a month ahead of time. Just by taking an hour of my time when I get home off of my 9 to 5 just to do a little hour of costume work. And then I'll do a little hour of artwork on my art blog and stuff like that. But basically, that's going to be the video that's going to be coming up next. I'm going to be writing a script for it, and I'd love if you guys gave tips, whether down in the comments or send them over to my Tumblr or things like that. Hell, you can tweet me them. My, my Twitter will be down there, my Tumblr will be down there, and I'd love to just make this happen. I think it would be wonderful. I think it would be great for people who are starting out. Like, there are so many people I know who are starting out who are so scared. And as well as people who are now, like, you can never tell that they were amateurs because they were just that good. Who were so scared of starting out because they were scared of making mistakes. They were scared of accidentally messing something up. They were scared that they were going to get picked on because they thought their costume was cringy. And these kind of things might end up helping somebody. I know... I've looked at a lot of tutorials, and they sure as hell helped me with a lot of my costume work, especially with the, uh, I don't have it here right now, but I actually have a sort of almost prosthetic kind of leg for my Junkrat costume. And I had to look up tutorials, I had to have my dad help me make it, and it was one of the most talked about things at the first convention I went to this year. And if it wasn't for the tutorials and me constantly looking up how to make it, I never would have known how to make it. I would have been just hopping around on one leg, just, just, ah, legless junk rat and shit. This video is kind of long, and I know it's kind of cringy, but I'm looking forward to this. I really am. Like, the past couple months have been stressful with hospital visits. It's been stressful with me losing interest in certain things, and even at a point of losing interest in YouTube and stuff, but this is... I've sort of been kicked in the butt with the thanks of you guys and everyone else, and I'm really getting back into it. I've hit my second win when it comes to these weeaboo stories. You think after 200 and something, almost 300 videos, you think, you'd think that maybe, maybe I should give it a rest. But no, I'm getting into my second wind, and you haven't seen nothing yet. So, I'm hoping to hear from you guys, and I'm hoping you guys look out, because this shit's going to get real.